buddy, Sigrev2, back again with another video for you all. Once again, it's been a minute, and I do apologize. There's just been some really weird stuff going on in my life lately. I think that's a time for another day, though. Today, I went to the store. A uh, little help from my mom went to the store, and while I was there, I noticed something that I didn't realize was actually happening. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Mountain Dew Gingerbread Snapped taste test. So I went into the local store and I was going through usually getting my normal sodas and waters and I saw this gingerbread snapped Mountain Dew. Several lines throughout the aisles there inside of the uh, freezer section. I remember reading about this. It was a leak. It was a leak in a Mountain Dew drinker discord. Uh, no one really took it seriously. The original picture, if I find it, I'll put it up here. But the original picture was like this really strange tan looking drink. The drink itself looked unappealing, but it looked like a gingerbread cookie. Hence the name Gingerbread Snapped. Now, the flavor here, it says it's a dew with a blast of artificial gingerbread flavor. Now, I don't exactly know what that entails. Does, is it going to try to be a cookie? Or is it just going to be Mountain Dew tries ginger ale? Uh, if it's the latter, that sounds amazing. You know, I, I love me some ginger ale. Uh, if it's the former, I don't know. Mountain Dew's had a shaky history with uh, dessert flavors. The birthday cake flavor they did as a special earlier on in the year, that didn't pan over too well with the people that got it. And the people that wanted to try it, that couldn't. But, I'm getting sad myself. Found a bunch of these, figured I'd grab one, figured I'd grab another if I liked it. If I don't, I'll give it to my roommate, hopefully he might enjoy it. So yeah, I knew they existed, didn't think it was actually going to happen, but it's here now. And it's, it's a nice white color, it kind of looks like how Whiteout looked when that was still around. I don't know why they got rid of Whiteout. I really don't. That that was my shit growing up, man. Got rid of Whiteout, but LimeWire is still around. Figured I'd do a little taste. And like I said, I've never had this before. This is my first time opening it and experiencing it. So, let's go for a smell. That is unapologetically ginger smell. Small, small, a tiny bit smell of uh, like cinnamon or maybe that's brown sugar it definitely smells like a ginger ale I can I can see where the gingerbread aspect is coming from but it does like the ginger is the star of the show there not gonna lie I'm a little bit nervous having this in the drink form but I'm keeping my fingers crossed sometimes Mountain Dew hits it out of the park with these flavors you never know it could be the best thing I've ever had today so cheers It tastes like it tastes like the invert of how it smells. Like I said, it smells more like ginger with a hint of cinnamon. This just tastes like carbonated cinnamon with a hint of ginger. But it's not an overpowering cinnamon. It's actually a nice, smooth, pleasant cinnamon flavor. But with all the added sugar and stuff that's normally in Mountain Dew, it gives it this really off extra tonality to it. Gotta be highbrow in this Mountain Dew review. The more I drink it, the more the ginger aspects of it kind of fall by the wayside and it just tastes like generic Mountain Dew flavor. Except right in the back, it'll hit you. It'll hit you with that, just a little bit of that snap from the gingerbread. But the more I drink it, I actually don't mind this. I think this is actually pretty neat. Oh, it's weird. It's super weird. But it's neat. Something you take a few sips of at a time, and you're like, oh, that's, you know, that's nice. I'll go back to that every now and again. It's not like other Mountain Dew flavors, like Livewire or Voltage, where you'd want to keep going back to it more and more and more. It's not that kind of a flavor. You sit with it for a bit. So, 
Yeah, gingerbread snap, Mountain Dew. I'm pleasantly surprised by this. I think I will absolutely finish both of these bottles. Uh, would I buy it again? Maybe. Uh, I would rather somebody else buy them for me. <laughs> Uh, you know, just like, oh, I saw this at the store, I thought you might like it. I'd give it a shot, neat little novelty for the holiday spirit. What an absolute treat for Christmas, even though we're uh, almost at Halloween. And speaking of Halloween, ladies and gentlemen, I plan on uploading some more stuff for the Halloween season, even though there's only a few days left. I feel as though, you know, Halloween's my favorite holiday. You know, I, I, I enjoy me some spookiness. What will it be that I'm doing, you ask? Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but on that end, I hope you had a great time watching this video. If you have tried this, let me know what you think in the comments below. And also let me know what you think of the video. I do appreciate the feedback. I, I want to start getting back into the role of things, so if things seem a little off or things can be changed, then, you know, I'm here, I'm here to listen, and I appreciate your feedback. As long as it's actual feedback and you're not just being a douche. But with all that being said, like I said, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Don't be a stranger. Oh, by the way, links in the description. Uh, check out my Twitter and uh, also check out my Bandcamp. Uh, please buy some stuff on the Bandcamp. I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, enough bagging out of me. Bye.